Yeah, well, welcome to the monthly meeting of the Cultural Affairs and Tourism Group. And uh, one of our purposes is just to let people in the city of Brockton know what's going on uh, in our city. And there's lots of things that are going on on a regular basis. So, uh, welcome to North Baptist Church, and we're so glad that you could be here tonight and, or join us on Brockton Community Access. So. At this time, I'm just going to turn it over to Ann with a couple of announcements that she, we know of and talk about the upcoming Expo. Okay, all right, thank you very much. All right, we'll switch it over here. Hello, we encourage everyone to come to these meetings, and one of the reasons we do is to spread the word and to connect up with other people that could help you spread the word or get volunteers or, you know, promote your fundraising event, etc. So, what I'm going to mention to you is a couple of things right now. Uh, we have a lot going on in 2023. Today is January 12th, and already there are plans for um, this weekend for various um, Martin Luther King um, events, observations, um, and um, in memory. Uh, Council on Aging, see, so if you're over 60, you can come for free and hear retired history teacher and, um, how would I say, dedicated community uh, person, Steve Thomasy, as he speaks on the Civil Rights Movement at the Council on Aging Wednesday, January 8th at 1 p.m. So come on down to this free event. We do want to point out that most of the events that we discuss are free, but we also support Agencies in the community, both state, nonprofits, that service individuals in all kinds of capacities. And we want to emphasize that very much. And we also work closely with the volunteer non based, um, non, non profit, uh, volunteer based groups in this city. We do want to take a moment to say it was unfortunate, but last month we lost a very dedicated community individual. Suddenly, he, he had been ill, but this was still shocking for all of us, John Drazinskis. He was with the Lithuanian Association probably all his life. He was born and raised in the village part of Brockton. He was with the Knights of Columbus. He was on the board of the D.W. Field Park Association. He was with the... Um, uh, he was the president of the Frederick Douglass Neighborhood Association. He was the vice president of the Village Neighborhood Association. We were very lucky to have an individual that dedicated in this community, and it is a great loss. There's plenty to do in this city. There's uh, plenty to learn. There's plenty to enjoy. And uh, we, um, we're expecting other guests. It's um, an unfun weather night in this community, but this is what winter is about. We want to stress that um, more and more events are going on. I don't know, we have um, a couple of people in the audience. Do we have anything coming up with DW Field Park Association? Not that not, not, and not at present, okay. But there's the DW Field Park Association, a gem in the city. We do want to point out that the Fuller Craft Museum is going to have a terrific event on Saturday, January 28th. You can uh, go to their um, fullercraft.org website and register. This is free. Anybody can go to the Fuller Craft Museum that lives in Brockton for free. How great is that? And there's only two craft museums on the east coast of the United States. One of them is in Brockton, the other one's in Manhattan. So come on. How easy does that get? So Tuesday through Sunday, you can check all this great stuff out. Okay, we're going to have a lot of activities going on, again, to recognize Martin Luther King. And uh, they will be taking place at a variety of locations. So check that out. Um, we also have a website called Happening in Brockton. Dot com. Always check that out. We have a poetry, poetry events, uh, our, a poetry at the, um, geez, I'm sorry, the Art Center, uh, Dover Street, Dover Street Gallery. You can check it out. We have various art exhibits going on, and Arnie Daniels is very dedicated to all this, so that's a pretty phenomenal situation. We have different groups that you can be a part of in this community. 
whether it's the, uh, the Lion's Cubs, the first one that comes to my mind, but there's many uh, VFW auxiliary that has over 50 members, and they're out there doing great things for the, vol um, for the veterans of this community, and that is really specific. We also want to highlight that there's several agencies in the city, should you need assistance, you know, uh, how do I say, with food insecurity, a heating um, assistant, fuel assistance, with self-help, and I I'm so sorry, uh, there's so many, it's hard for me to name all of them. I also want to point out on a lighter note, you can join us at the Brockton Garden Club on, for free on Monday, January 23rd at Our Lady of Lords. Uh, that is, the parking is on Tory Street. The church is at 430 West Street. But you park behind the building. We're in the basement. There's the elevator. You go right down. It's a terrific function hall. This um, month's topic will be growing herbs in your own home, which I think is a really great idea over the winter months because you're not going to see too much growing outside, <laughs> which is kind of a bummer. And uh, we do recommend that you keep on checking with us. And uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about, we've um, discussed Cultural Fears and Tourism Expo for 2023, and that will be held on Saturday. March 25th from 10 to 2. We will be providing a lot more details, but feel free to continue checking on happeninginbroughton.com and well, yeah, yeah, happeninginbroughton.com, Broughton Community Access. Broughton Community Access is um, taping this event today, and I notice here that I hadn't deleted Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, which I think is kind of funny because we did not have a meeting in um, December. We hope you had a marvelous holiday and we want people to stay safe and stay well. Broughton Community Access continues to provide free services. You can become a member for free and do podcasting, take out the equipment. I'm trying to think here. You can do your own show. You can have meetings for free and you can promote all your information for free. I do want to highlight, too, one last thing. I'm kind of biased about this because I think it's fun. The Rotary Club of Broughton is having a fundraiser on Saturday, January 21st at 7 p.m. at the Enterprise Club. And it's a hypnotist comedian. I'm looking forward to that. I find hypnotism fascinating. And uh, I guess you don't want to check it out. There's always fun things. All the proceeds go. It's $50 a ticket. Go to children and education activities in this community. This means scholarship. This means providing various, um, you know, assistance. Should people be doing projects for kids? And again, I've just named a few things going on. And I don't know, Pastor Reed, can you think of anything else? Not off the top of my head here. What? Okay, just kidding. <laughs> right, we're just starting the new year. Stay warm and safe in your homes. Uh, again, for more information, happeninginbroughton.com, Broughton Community Access, 508-580-2228. Uh, They're open seven days a week unless it's a holiday. Let's remember to, um, you know, how would I say, uh, see the, remember the sacrifices and the dedication of Martin Luther King this weekend and a civil rights movement. And... Uh, Find out other organizations due to the weather and everything else. We think a couple of people were uh, stuck and unable to make it tonight. But the African American Association is coming up with a real fun event for uh, the month of February where they're going to be doing roller skating and listening to 90s music. And I expect all of you to be practicing. Uh, again, join us next month. When we have our meeting, you're more than welcome to attend. You're more than welcome to contact us. I can be reached at 508. Uh, that's not true. I can be reached at 774-297-4939. And uh, stay safe, stay well, everybody. Thank you. And our next meeting will be February 9th. And our next meeting will be February 9th, 6 p.m., North Baptist Church, 899 North Main Street. We've got a lot going on, and, and uh, some of it's going to be in Montello. A lot of positive events happening. There's so many ways you can learn what's going on. There's so many ways you can get involved in the community. And there's so many times you can have fun, and it won't cost you a dime. Thank you.